over five weeks and one day out from the show um, as of this video. I'm probably gonna take you through like 24 hours. I'll do a bit of vlogging today and a bit of vlogging tomorrow. So a bit of everything, a bit of rest day food, a bit of training day food. Um, the reason I'm having another rest day today, Thursday is normally a training day, but the reason I'm having another rest day is because I'm a bit ill. Um, I slept like an hour and a half, two hours last night. I've just got a bit of a man flu. I feel like a bit of a headache, uh, a bit like sinuses blocked up, but nothing crazy. I still got on my steps in this morning, did my cardio. Uh, Cam wanted to see some of how my body's looking. So what we'll do is we'll post a couple of those clips up here. Um, but yeah, otherwise we're good. We are really good. We're seeing really good progress. I'm happy with everything. Um, yeah, we're just taking it day by day, enjoying the ride. There is a few little changes going on, uh, which I'll tell you about later in this vlog. But this vlog's just gonna be super random, bit of food, bit of lifestyle, bit of what, what do I do in the evenings, bit of evening routine, bit of food, I just said food. But you get the gist. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap up a little bit of climb work here in the usual spot. And um, I'll just see you throughout the day when I feel like picking the camera up, I'm completely honest, so yeah. From the coffee shop. <laughs> I've come home, I don't know what I've done with this camera angle. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've come home, I've ate, I literally just had, that was my first meal coming back from the coffee shop, it was 150 grams of chicken and 100 grams of egg whites. Um, rest day food is, is lower now. Um, we're running 280 carb on a rest day, 50 fat and 235 protein, which is coming about at 2300 calories. And then on training days, we've got about 330 carb, 50 fat, and 235 protein. I think that's like 2,600. Sounds like a lot, but generally when you're doing a lot of cardio, you've got thermogenics in play, your training intensity is up high, you're up early, all this sort of stuff. It's um, it's not much food, it isn't. Um, and But it's not bad either. It's not bad amount of food. So anyway guys, my, like I said today, today's a random vlog. I'm just cooking up meal two, which is gonna literally be 150 grams of egg whites. I'm just gonna do some mixed greens with it. I've cooked up all my broccoli for the next few days. I literally just chop it all up, um, and then I just put it in the microwave, and there's a little bit of water in there, and it just steams it. So that's all done for the next couple of days. I'll do the zucchini in a bit, um, just so I've got all my veggies done for the next few days. Um, and that's it, that is literally it. There is a topic that I wanna cover, but I've actually booked in the barbers just to kill an hour, if I'm completely honest. I've got to that point in prep now where I ended up buying some clothes and I booked the barber just to kill an hour of time. <laughs> so then I can come back and have the next couple of meals, which um, I will show you, might as well. Um, apologies, I'm not really energetic. I just feel a bit, I just feel drained of energy. I feel good, but I just feel drained. Um, and hopefully tomorrow will feel good. Either way, I've got to get back into the gym tomorrow just for my own headspace and knowing that you're on prep. But we got to pull back sometimes. Like if I kept training, if I went and trained today, I would have dug myself into a deeper ditch. And it would not have been good long term. We are five weeks out and we can't afford that to happen. So pulling back, it's a bit like a bow and arrow. When you pull back, pull the bow back, pull the arrow back, it flies forward. That's what we have to do. We have to pull back and then slingshot forward. Um, so that's it. So yeah guys, there's that, obviously that topic that I want to talk about coming back from the barbers. Maybe tonight or tomorrow night I'll run over kind of my evening routine as well. So this is going to be a two day vlog, so apologies if it might be a little bit longer, but enjoy either way. Hopefully you can hear me over the fan, but then for, the, for this meal, we just got some pink salt on there, black pepper, garlic and herb, low, um, low calorie, Frank's red red hot sauce thing, which is sick. So, meal two, crazy times, food's getting lower, it's not that interesting, but we got an omelet. <laughs> Completely honest, I haven't got the energy to film. I just wanna curl up and just recover and just chill and just come away from, honestly, just cameras, social media, work, the afternoon and evening. Um, I just wanna chill and be in my own company, so, Apologies, I tried to attempt a vlog today. Um, you saw three or four clips. I'm gonna love you and leave you, and I will see you tomorrow for that conversation, for the plans that are coming up, 
for a <laughs> more energetic me, so I will see you in the morning. I'll give you a full update when we get to the coffee shop. Looking a bit tired. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on with the world? What's going on? Obviously yesterday, I think the last clip I showed you was like, Ugh, I can't be fucked, pretty much. Um, so anyway, fast forward to today, which is Friday. Um, woke up, felt okay. Felt okay. I felt like 90%. I felt a bit like, just a bit run down. It's a bit of a head cold sort of thing, just kind of in my sinuses. So I woke up, I prepared pre-workout meal, got all that done. Started, went for a walk, did my, just morning routine is nothing normal, getting up at kind of 5.15, hydration, weighing myself, um, I'm going to start that again, <laughs> morning routine is exactly the same, <laughs> waking up at 5.15, I'll go to the toilet, I'll weigh myself, I'll have my hydration, my morning supplements, I'll prepare the meals for the day, and then, then I'll go get my steps in, do my cardio, so did all that this morning, um, vacuums, I do about three rounds of posing, so I did all that. And honestly, I came back up, showered, and I just went, boom, it hit me. And it's kind of a good indicator, so... It's kind of like, when when you're ill, should you train? Um, and the good way to know is that, just to get your heart rate up a little bit, go do some cardio, go get your heart rate up a little bit, and you'll see how you respond, but I just crashed. And I was like, fuck, I feel fatigued now. Um, I always say to a client, if it's, if, if you feel tired in your body and your joints, straight away don't train. But take as long as rest as you need to. Don't rush back into the gym. At the end of the day, when you are trying to recover from an illness or bug, whatever that is, your body's fighting off the stress. And when we go to the gym, we move weight around. We are putting a lot of stress on our nervous system, our muscles, everything like that. So your body's going like, fucking hell, I've got to fight off all these different things. On top of recovering from an illness, recovering from the damage you've done to it training. So. Take longer than you need to to rest, and right now that's hard for me to get in my head because obviously I'm like, right, I'm I'm five weeks out, and I'm like in my head I'm like, shit, I need to be like digging, digging, but I can't dig if I'm not in a position to dig yet. Um, but I am very happy with the position I am. At. I really am physically. I am ready. Um, I will be ready, so I'm not worried about that. But I do need to just make sure I need to rest again properly. Um, so yeah, that is it guys, that is it. So obviously Cam said to rest today, I did all my cardio. I was supposed to be posing with John at lunchtime. I was gonna go to the gym, I was gonna do some abs and do posing, but honestly I just I just need to put my feet up and just be a bit of a veggie today. I'm gonna get as much work as I can done at the beautiful coffee shop that is. Obviously, it's always gorgeous here to work. It's a little bit humid, so I'll go inside now. I just wanted to come outside and film this. So yeah. That is it guys, I'm gonna crack on with some work. Um, I need to crack on with my journaling. So journal, and then um, I'll crack on with some work. I'll show you my meals today, I'm gonna show you my evening routine, everything like that. I'll show you kind of a day in life of resting. Um, there's a couple of topics I wanna to touch on as well today, so I'll do exactly that, so let's go. Work done for the day. The best things about Dubai is that the cleaner came in at 8 a.m. I went to the coffee shop for a couple of hours to do all the work, and we come back to a clean apartment, which is sick. They do the balcony, everything like that, so they clean everything, which is sick, and it's so cheap. But talking about apartments, there's gonna be a few little updates in this video. One's gonna be a show. The one I'm going to talk about now is actually, I'm moving. I've This is the first place I moved to, to Dubai. Tiny little studio. I absolutely love it to bits. Um, but I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. Um, so my last check to pay here, because everything's done in checks here, so you pay, you pay it kind of how you want to. It's kind of up to you. So you have like a year contract. It might be 50, 60, 80, 120,000 dirhams a year and you can break that into however installments you want to throughout the year. So I pay mine every three months, every quarter of the year. So my last payment here is October. That will see me through till the January when my contact contract would, will, will renew for this place, but I obviously won't renew that contract and I'll be moving. So from October, I will 
start to move somewhere else. And it's quite nice, because then it gives you three months to actually move somewhere, which is great. It gives you time to find somewhere, you can start to furnish it, things like that. You don't have to rush out of here in like a couple of weeks or a month. So yeah, um, I will be moving out of the marina as much as I fucking love the marina and it is the place to live. It's very, very expensive. What I pay for this place, it's very expensive. Um, so I will be moving, I'm looking, it's probably gonna be JVC, really up and coming area, um, and all my mates live there, everyone lives there. So I'll probably be moving into a two bed kind of place. What I can, so this is a studio, I can get a two bed, two bath from there for what I pay here. <laughs> so yeah, but that's my little update here. It's been a gorgeous little studio, I love it to bits. Um, it's everything that I need, so it's, it's absolutely brilliant. And, there's an incredible foot into Dubai, and I'm just ready. Business is growing, I'm growing, and I'm ready for a change. So yeah, let's go cook up that first meal. It is now um, 11 a.m., so we've done a nice little fast. We're literally just gonna do, the first two meals of the day are literally gonna be protein and vegetables, and then we'll do, save all my carbs to the back end of the day. So let's go get that meal in. I was thinking it when I was making it. When it was close up, it looked like a pile of shit in the frying pan. But that's honestly like how all my meals look, and they're banging. So this is literally just mixed veg, um, 200 grams of lean, uh, like zero, zero fat, five percent low fat <laughs> mince meat, 100 grams of egg whites, mixed up into a scrambled mess. Absolutely love it every time. And as soon as you get the seasonings in there. Got some pink salt, we've got some black pepper, can't go wrong. Then we've got the El Paso, and this is the, the beef mix or something. Yeah, beef tacos, beef tacos, which is very good. Put that on all your red meat, it's a bomber. Some low sodium salt, and then we got Frank's Hot. <laughs> Get my face out of it. Frank's Hot, low calorie uh, hot sauce, and that'd be literally it. So super easy, I'm gonna have this, chill, watch some TV, recover, and I've actually booked myself a little bit of a, a spa hour, which is good because I'm at that point in prep now where I'm spending silly money, <laughs> along with prep, um, but it's just honestly, it's just to take myself an, away for an hour just to chill, unwind, because I have been getting into my head a little bit lately, and just, just a bit of a like, will I be ready in time? questioning kind of things and just looking at others which is the worst thing you can do um, just in all forms of life business training relationships happy lifestyle all this Instagram bullshit so I'm just taking myself to a little spa hour I'll come back I'll have a meal too and I've got a couple of consultation calls tonight as well but honestly today is literally looking like this this is it um, obviously I'll be on my phone all the time just making sure clients are okay but otherwise, that is it guys, I'm gonna dive into this chill. And that is meal one for today. About to go <coughs> to uh, have a bit of beauty time for me, but something arrived at the door and prep, I think this is a prep thing, prep made me do it. Foot Locker, dangerous Foot Locker, had buy two, get one free. So, that's exactly what we've done. We've gone and got some red Jordan shorts. Boom. Bomber. This is what happens when you're on prep. This is actually, to be fair, this is the first time I've actually bought something as prep. That's like a purchase that I didn't really need to do. Didn't really need to do. We got, boom. We just got a very simple Jordan t-shirt and we got this in a double XL because I like my oversized and then we got exactly the same in a white because I'm very very simple dude so we got a double XL in the white Jordan a very simple thank you prep thank you for making me spend some money that I really didn't need to do but I'll use it because it's um, 
it's gym gear, I can wear it in the gym, all that sort of stuff. So, that's my defense. All right guys, I had a little bit of a pamper, which was quite nice. Um, I literally just, I'm super fucking lazy. I went and got them to shave my legs because I don't do my legs and I got my feet done. So that was literally it, so super easy. And we're back for meal two, which is, boom. It's literally 120 grams of chicken and some broccoli, some zucchini, some peas, and a little bit of onion. And that's literally it. A little bit like, yeah. And then seasonings. I think you saw this meal on my failed attempt the other day of vlogging. And I had some of the meat seasoning. Um, I got salt, I got pepper, and I got some Frank's Red Ahead. Uh, Frank's Red Ahead? Frank's Red Hot Sauce again. So that's that. I'm gonna obviously just watch a little bit of YouTube, eat that. Um, I'm actually just having a bit of a, a bit of a self-care day. I'm gonna shave my body because I hate fucking body hair. Anything from here down needs to go. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and that's it. Obviously I had my first prep purchase, um, which is like such a weird thing in prep because normally I'd like eat, eat out twice a week and things like that. So you kind of get your fix. But in prep you just do weird shit. You just, and it's always buying, it's always buying shit. That's the first thing I bought. I think it's just because I've got a lot going on financially. So obviously, I've got to move um, and things like that at, at the back end of this year. And then obviously, every year here, you have to renew your business here as well, which is, I guess, your tax, but it's very, very cheap compared to taxes. So obviously, I have to renew that in the new year as well. So there's some expenses that obviously I'm moving. I'm going to be furnishing the place completely. So I don't need to be spending shit. I need to be smart. And I have also upgraded my laptop as well, uh, which should be arriving Monday. Um, I've had that MacBook for like five years now. It's got like a battery damage. So I'll try and sell it um, and just say, guys, that like it needs a new battery. But that's literally it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll dive into this. I might shave all my body and things like that. So I'll probably see in the next clip or so. I've got some consultation calls that I need to crack on with later as well. So yeah, it's just a bit of a day in the life, food, all this sort of stuff. All the macros and things like that, I'll put up on the screen and stuff throughout this video. So food breakdown will all be there. I save all my carbs to the end of the day, just because I don't need them on a rest day or for ill days. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Super, super easy, guys. I'll love you and leave you, and I'll see you in a jiffy. Honestly, just super relaxed, just kind of just get to know you in a bit more detail. Kind of go over the wrapped up a consultation call with a lovely girl, which was amazing. And it's just nice to jump on these consultation calls, regardless if they don't join the team. They might join the team in a couple of months' time, six months' time, but it's great just to give them an insight so they leave the call with more clarity, more structure, and actually just with an action plan really be like right after this call you need to do x y and z and just run with that for the next couple of weeks and months and start building on it so they actually know straight away when they finish the call they've got a game plan which is great so um evening routine evening routine uh luckily we are at half six and i'm an old man so my last calls and i normally wrap up work from 7 to 7 30. 7 30 is the last time i will take any calls that includes client calls anything along those lines my oats don't ever explode so yeah 7 30 is the last time i'll take any calls or they'll all finish my phone actually turns off so i've got like you can set it also like my phone will um all the apps will shut down at 7 30. um you can even tell like i've started doing it now where i lower the lights in the house i just have lamps on and things like that just to start to calm and just relax just go into the evening i cook the last meal watching horrific I never say Watching a podcast, um, mostly at the moment Diary of a CEO, so I'll just cook dinner, I'll listen to a podcast, just nice and chill, or watch a podcast. And that's kind of it, so it's just routine, so it's just making sure I know what time I'm up every day, and I know what I need to do, if that's cardio, doing all my stuff, prepping meals for the day. Evening, 7.30, right, it's time to make your last meal, relax, unwind for the night, get your last meal cooked, then I'll go get a shower in a second, and I'll just chill out. That's literally it. Um, my phone, that's it, 7.30. I try and stay away from my phone as much as possible. The only time I'll be on my phone is if I've got clients competing or client photo shoots and things like that going on where they need that constant communication. Uh, but that's absolutely fine because it's 
It's not every day, right? It's for maybe three months of the year, so it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, it's nothing too fancy to the evening routine. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else I've missed. I, I'll show you my last meals later. Um, I'll sit and have them, so that's literally it. Obviously, I've saved pretty much all my carbohydrates for tonight, um, which I enjoy, because I, like I said in a million videos, is that I like to, because uh, my training's all in the morning, it's almost like my pre-workout fuel as well. So hopefully tomorrow morning I am back in the gym, um, but that'll be a topic for Instagram. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, I will crack on with dinner, I'll get it all set up, and I will show you last my, my last meals my evening little setup on the sofa, blanket, blue light block and glasses, and we're good. I'll tell you my um, my meals here, because honestly, I just wanna curl up and just chill. So anyway, cracking with that evening routine. It's got these blue light block and glasses on. Um, so they just got these on Amazon. They just cut out any kind of light. They just, they cut any blue light. Uh, I think I got from Amazon for like, I don't know, like 20 quid, or something like that. So not too bad. When 7.30 hits, so at 7.30, my computer, everything like that, it goes on, um, I downloaded an app, it's called Flux. So that means everything goes red. So if I was using the computer or anything like that or any technology, it cuts out the blue light from that as well. So it's a really good thing if you are working later and if you have to work late. But we're going on to those last meals. You have actually seen them in the past. Like they don't really change, they just change sizes. So I think this is the fifth meal of the day. I don't know if you can see it very well. But we've got protein pancakes here. We got strawberries. Let me read out. Actually, it's it's 50 grams of oats, 150 grams of egg whites. Um, then it's 150 grams of strawberries in the shaker cup. I'll shake it up, and the other 150 grams of strawberries is here. Um, my protein flavor drops and some salt, and then I drizzled on some whey paste on that. Then we have this bad boy. So this is going to be. 50 grams of rice flour, 50 grams of oats, then we've got 10 grams of dark chocolate. We've got some flavor drops there from my protein as well. Um, 400 grams of frozen rice blueberries, um, 175 grams of fresh raspberries on top. Again, you can see that the whey paste on top, so just water and whey paste, mix it up into a glass, into a glass. Then we've got six rice cakes just for dunking. So yeah, that's pretty much everything there guys. Um, these are my last two meals a day and that's pretty much, obviously I've just had those two slices of bread today and veggies for carbs. Um, and it's good because I, I like to do this because then it's nice when you feel a bit ill because obviously you just get to curl up now and just eat. Um, and then obviously it just allows me to cure those cravings and stuff like that in the evenings but this prep's been pretty good so yeah, that's literally it guys. I think that's super chilled. We're just gonna go curl up on the sofa, put some Netflix on, start a new season of something, and that'll be it. So I will love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next vlog when I'm a little bit more alive. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, also, before I go, the last announcement, I forgot. Japan show. I am not doing the Japan show anymore. Purely out of the, Japan has some still some weird COVID rules that are a little bit unsettled at the moment and I just wanna have plans in place ready to go. So we could sit and wait on it. Japan is gonna be more expensive with flights, accommodation, everything like that. Like I said in the other video, I'm moving house as well. Everything like that. I'm just trying to be as cost effective as possible. Um, don't get me wrong, I'd love to do Japan. It'll be on the radars to go visit but just not at the moment. So instead of that, we are doing Spain Alicante, which is gonna be an amazing show. So I'll have the Dubai show, and then two weeks later we fly to Spain Alicante, do my second show there, and then I'll fly back to Dubai, start my health phase, start the two year off season to build more muscle. So that is the update guys. There'll be more on that little topic, but there's the announcement. I will love you and leave you. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.